Hello everyone. My name is Yako Harada. I'm a graduate student at Chuo University. Today, I'd like to start by talking about the protective effect of BTV against typhoons. These are today's contents. I'm going to divide my presentation into four parts. Firstly, I'd like to talk about the introduction. Recently, movable breakwaters have developed to supplement parts that are difficult to install with conventional ones. They are mainly characterized by being placed in sipping lanes. As you can see on this slide, it's being developed around the world. In this article, we will focus on VDB among them. VDB stands for the Vertical Telescopic Breakwater and is usually buried in the bottom of the sea to not be an obstacle for vessel navigation. On the other hand, it is floated up during storm surges or tsunami strike. Previous researches are done on protection performance due to VDB, such as Arika et al. showed the protective effect of VDB against tsunamis and various conditions at Shimot's port in Wakayama Prefecture through a model experiment. Also, they have established a calculation method for the numerical simulation of VTV. The calculation method is proposed by giving porosity and the VTV is modeled like the upper figure. Arikawa et al propose the approximate formula to calculate the effect of VTB in water level reduction based on the wave period and wave height without numerical simulation. As further discussions, they have investigated the relationship between the water level and the flow rate at the 7% aperture of VTB. They concluded the water level differs depending on the shape of the pipe and the presence or not of anti-rotation material in the VTV by hydraulic model experiment. To improve and strengthen the evacuation system for the enormous possible storm surge, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government has published the simulated storm surge inundation map. Tokyo has a large amount of land with surface elevation lower than the average sea level at high tide. Because of the population and buildings, a typhoon of a specific scale could cause extensive damage. Therefore, this research investigates three main discussions before the final results. First, the protective effect of VTV at full scale by numerical simulation using actual typhoons. Second, the impact of VTV in reducing inundation in coastal areas. The final result will then be applied to the approximate evaluation formula from the previous study to validate the calculation and propose the optimal location of VTV. The study flow is shown here. Now, I'd like to talk about calculation methods. In this study, we used storm surge and tsunami simulator in ocean and coastal areas, which is called STOC. This model is based on multi-layer non-liner shallow water long wave equations. Also, the empirical typhoon model was used for storm surge estimation. Among the shown equations, we applied these two equations to create a virtual typhoon and created multiple typhoon conditions. When applying the VTB to the calculation, we designed our model based on previous study. Gaps between the tubes were described by porosity and buffer were provided on both sides of each cell to which VTB was applied to ensure the calculation stability. Next, I'd like to talk about the verification of VTB. First of all, 
The typhoon conditions are the same as those used in the storm surge inundation map shown earlier. Typhoons passed through Tokyo and other areas in the past and the recorded serious damage were selected. Longitudes were shifted by 0.2 degrees to make a total of 9 paths. The other conditions are shown in the lower right and are all constant. As the figures on the slide show, wave gauges were installed at two locations and VTB were installed in each case. This is to compare the difference depending on the relationship between the typhoon and the location of VTB. Case 0 doesn't have VTB installed. Case 1 is installed at the farthest shore. Case 2 is installed in the middle and case 3 is installed in both navigation sections. First, to demonstrate the calculation's validity, we use the same conditions as the storm surge inundation map for Tokyo. The results are in general agreement, although the inundation area is slightly overestimated. This graph shows the result for the case with the largest storm surge in 9 paths. Both swelled gauge 1 and 2 were approximately more effective in reducing water levels with VTB installed to the result. The area circled in orange in this slide. We think that water level is slowly dropping due to the incoming river flow from above. In this case, there was little difference in effectiveness between the different locations of the VTB. There was no significant difference in between case 1 and case 3. However, from the formula we will explain later in this presentation, case 2 was less compelling than the other cases. These are inundation motion movies. This shows that in all cases where VTB was installed, they were more effective in controlling the inundation extent and high than those where they were not installed. These are inundation maps of each case. The inundation area and depths in the land behind the VTB were found to be effective in each case. Still, the in addition, depths of the land in front of VTB varied depending on the location, so it is necessary to consider the extent of flooding when installing it. So far, to confirm the calculation's validity, it is applied to the approximate evaluation shown in the previous study. Arika et al. proposed the method that can roughly estimate the reduction effect of VTB by an equation from numerical calculations and experiments. First, equation 1 expresses the flow velocity passing through the VTB gap occurs when the water level difference occurs before and after. The representative value of the water level difference is defined at twice the incident wave height. The inflow rate is consider considered to flow into the port during the semi-period as shown in equation 2. If the water level is assumed to rise uniformly in the harbor, the water storage amount is expressed as equation 3, and when Q1 and Q2 are the same, it is equation 4. However, in previous research, the equation can be used when the wave height and period are decided. The method can be adapted in calculations using actual typhoons. Therefore, the method was modified by changing the water level difference to the water level without VTV, so that the method can be used without knowing the wave height in advance. The next slide will show you the results using the method. 
In case 1, we define the area within the port as the area surrounded by yellow. The area covered by VTB is multiplied by the average depth of the area. Case 2 is similarly defined as the area within the port encloses in yellow. Case 3 is also similarly defined as the area within the port encloses in yellow. In these cases, the area of the port was set up to the mass of the river. Here is an approximate estimate from those results. The validity of calculations will be verified by overlaying them with previous studies. This grass horizontal axis is a theoretical value obtained from the former equation when VTV is installed. The value is divided by the water level rise without VTV half and made dimensionless. The vertical axis is the analytical value when VTV is installed and is divided by the water level rise without VTV. In previous studies, the denominator of the horizontal axis is the web height. The closer the value is to the dotted line, the closer the calculation's validity can be shown. In this case, for case 2, the analytical values were overestimated, but the validity of the calculation was approximately proved. Besides, if the ratio between the area is poured and the area of application of VTV is large, the effect of water level reduction can be expected. Still, the effect of water level reduction in case 2 was not found earlier because the value is relatively smaller than the other cases. Lastly, I'd like to talk about conclusion. The protection effect of VTV was also demonstrated in the harbor area during the actual typhoon, and when the approximate evaluation was modified to apply to typhoon-induced storm surge and fitted to it, indicating the validity of the calculation. I would like to close our presentation. Thank you for listening.